Well, there are several late developments tonight on a story out of Ottawa. It involves allegations of a toxic work environment in the office of the Governor General. Ashley Burke broke the story earlier in the week. She joins us now at the latest. Ashley, what's happened? Well, late this evening, the Privy Council office released a statement confirming that it will conduct a third-party review of harassment claims at Rideau Hall. In a statement, PCO said today it initiated a thorough, independent, and impartial review to examine the concerns raised by past and current employees of OSGG. Harassment has no place in any professional workplace. It is a public service priority to advance efforts to more effectively prevent and resolve issues of harassment. Now, this is in response to our story Tuesday, in which a dozen sources described a toxic environment at Rideau Hall and a culture of fear that, bel that, that involved belittling and berating employees to the point where some have been reduced to tears or have left the office altogether. And Ashley, is there any word out of uh, Rideau Hall on this? Well, behind the scenes today, sources said the atmosphere at Rideau Hall right now is heavy and it's tense. The office arranged a virtual meeting with the ombudsman and employees today in light of our story. And just tonight, we heard from the Governor General, Julie Payette, for the first time since the claims were published. In a statement, Payette said, I am deeply concerned with the media reports regarding the office of the Governor General, and I am completely committed to ensuring that every employee who works at Rideau Hall enjoys a secure and healthy work environment at all times and under all circumstances. I take harassment and workplace issues very seriously, and I'm in full agreement and welcome an independent review. And you'll also note there, Andrew, she did not deny the claims. Mm. Okay, thanks, Ashley. Ashley Burke with Breaking Developments tonight.